Lebanon's armed group Hezbollah experienced another wave of explosions on Wednesday, this time in the form of handheld radios or walkie-talkies, just a day after thousands of its members were injured in similar blasts across the country that also killed 12. The new explosions occurred in southern Lebanon and the southern suburbs of the capital, Beirut. These explosions have so far killed three individuals and injured over a hundred. The handheld radios or walkie-talkies were purchased by Hezbollah five months ago, around the same time that the pages were bought, reported Reuters quoting a security source. According to BBC, one of the blasts took place near a funeral organised by Hezbollah for those killed in the previous day's explosions. Meanwhile, the state-run national news agency, that is the NNA, reported that old pages detonated inside homes in southern suburbs of Beirut and southern Lebanon. A number of wounded people were transported to hospitals in Beirut and Balbek. One NNA correspondent, according to BBC, reported that two people were injured after a device exploded on a road in the village of Ali Al Nahari in the central Beka. Another correspondent said a pager exploded inside a car near a cemetery in Jedut Marjiyun in the southern Beka. Meanwhile, Hezbollah said on Wednesday it had attacked Israeli artillery positions with rockets in the first strike at its arch force since pager blasts wounded thousands of members in Lebanon and raised the prospect of a wider Middle East war.